if we've got a function of three variables, f of x, y, and z, and c is a number, then we can look at the level surface uh, defined by f, x, y, z is equal to c. So here I've shown uh, f of x, y, z equals x squared plus y squared minus z squared. And you can try adjusting the value of c to see uh, different level surfaces uh, of this function. All right, now suppose we have a curve a curve r, let me write it as r of t is x of t i plus, sorry, y of t j plus z of t k. And the curve uh, lies entirely uh, in this uh, in this surface or on this surface, if you prefer, uh, then th so that means that f of uh, so really x f of x t y t z t is equal to c, or you might also just write f of r of t is equal to c. Uh, to be shorter, um, but this is uh, this is what we mean if we say this. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll differentiate both sides with respect to t, while their derivative of a constant is zero. Uh, but then the left hand side, uh, the by the chain rule, we'll get that d by t of this whole thing. This is del f by del x dx by dt plus del f by del y uh, dy by dt plus del f by del z dz by dt. Now remember how we defined derivatives of vector functions. Uh, r prime of t will be x prime of t i plus y prime of tj plus z prime of tk. So, uh, so this equation that we have at the bottom so this whole expression <coughs> is del f at r of t dot r prime of t. Uh, and so we get that um, if a curve r of t uh, lies on a surface or lies on, uh, yeah, let's say the level surface Uh, defined by f of x, y, z is equal to c, then the tangents, okay, so get rid of this, so Okay, so then uh, del f at r of t dot r prime of t is zero for all t, i.e. the tangent vectors uh, of r are always orthogonal to uh, to the uh, gradient 
of f. So there's a plane's worth of, uh, of vectors which are orthogonal to a given vector, or so orthogonal to the gradient. So uh, we make the following definition. So um, the tangent plane uh, to the surface x, y, z, such that f, x, y, z is equal to c, uh, is the plane uh, passing through, so at a point, I should say at a point p0, x0, y0, z0, is the plane that passes through P0 and is uh, orthogonal to the gradient of F at that point. Or maybe this is just right in the, in the notation we've introduced del F at P0. So it has equation, the equation. Uh, f x x minus x zero plus f y y minus y zero plus uh, f z times z minus z zero. So here, this is the partials uh, of f evaluated at x zero y zero z zero evaluated at p zero evaluated at p0. Uh, and then the, so we'll do an example in a second, the normal line to uh, such a surface, to the surface f, x, y, z, equals c at a point p0, x0, y0, z0. This will be the line uh, which is parallel to the gradient and passing through, again, p0. And so this will have equation Uh, x equals x0 plus fx p0t, y equals uh, y0 plus fy p0t, z equals z0 plus fz p0t, uh, or, or more concisely, R of t is p0 plus del f at p0 at times t. Or so this part being vector, and this is uh, a scalar. So for example, uh, let's calculate, so at the uh, surface I've drawn here. Um, and you can drag the you can drag the point around uh, on the surface and it'll show the tangent plane and the gradient vector. So x squared plus y squared minus z squared. Uh, <clears throat> and then let's take c is equal to uh, uh, to Two, let's say. So we have the point um, x0, well, y0, z0 is 3, 3, 
uh, 4, so 9 plus 9 minus 16 is equal to 2. Uh, so grad f at this point, well, grad f in general is 2xi plus 2yj minus 2zk. So, uh, so at p0, that'll be 6i plus 6j minus 8k at this point. Um, and so the tangent plane at this point, again, for C equals 2, uh, is given by the equation um, x minus 3 times 6 plus 6 y minus 3 minus uh, 8 z minus 4 uh, uh, is equal to 0. Then the tangent, the normal line at this point is given by uh, 3 plus 6ti plus 3 plus 6tj plus 4 minus 8t. Okay, so uh, uh, the tangent plane, the tangent plane you can think of as all possible velocities you could have uh, while traveling through the surface. Um, and then uh, another thing I wanted to mention is in this um, in this demo where you can move the point around, I didn't program in uh, finding the gradient vector. This is just something that um, the computer does by itself, finding the normal vector uh, to a surface at a point, um, because surface normals are extremely important uh, in computer graphics for rendering things and like deciding how lighting should be done and so on. Next, let's consider uh, the surface defined by f of x, y, z equals, so this is our function, y squared plus x, y, z minus x minus z. And we'll look at the surface f, x, y, z is equal to 2. So the gradient of f is, uh, is, Let's see, so we'll have yz minus 1 times i plus uh, 2y plus xz times j plus xy minus 1 times k. So let's look at, uh, <clears throat> uh, consider the point Uh, negative 1, 2, comma 1 on this surface. So then del f at this point will be, uh, so y times z, that's 2. So this will be i plus uh, 4 um, plus 3j, uh, and then negative minus 3k. So we get that uh, the tangent plane
to this surface, y squared plus x, y, z minus x minus z equals 2 at negative 1, 2, 1 has the equation or is defined by uh, x plus 1 plus 2 y minus, or sorry, plus 3 times uh, y minus 2 minus 3 z minus 1 is equal to 0. And the normal line at the same point uh, is defined by uh, x equals negative 1 plus t, y equals 2 plus 3t, and z equals 1 minus 3t.